Dave, come in. Have a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Do you remember me, Mr. Garrison? I met you on Karen Belay Street right after your election. I congratulated you, remember? How could I forget? You make quite a first impression. Now, I've heard over the years, you're quite a first-rate pilot, Dave. Legend has it, you can get in and out of any field, no matter how small. I'm a bit of a pilot myself, too. Flew grasshoppers for the field artillery in the war. Do you mind if I smoke, Mr. Garrison? How could I? Now, Dave, as you know, President Kennedy was assassinated on Friday. A man named Lee Harvey Oswald was arrested as a suspect, and then yesterday was murdered by a man named Jack Ruby. And we have reports that Oswald spent the summer in New Orleans, and we've been advised that you knew Oswald pretty well. That's not true. I never met anybody named Oswald. Anybody who told you that has to be crazy. You are aware that he served in your Silver Air Patrol unit when he was a teenager. No. If he did, I don't remember him. There were lots of kids, in and out, you know. I'm sure that you've seen this. Maybe you knew this man under a different name. No. I never saw him before in my life. Well, that must have been mistaken information we got. Thanks for straightening us out. There is one other matter that's come up, Dave. We've been told that you took a trip to Texas shortly after the assassination on Friday. Yeah, no, that's true. I drove to Houston. What's so appealing about Houston? I, I hadn't been there ice skating in many years. And I had a couple of young friends with me. And we decided we wanted to go ice skating. Dave, do you mind telling me why the urge to go ice skating in Texas happened to strike you during one of the most violent thunderstorms in recent memory? Oh, it was just a spur of the moment thing. The storm wasn't that bad. I see. Where'd you drive? We went straight to Houston. Then Saturday night, we drove to Galveston, stayed over there. Why Galveston? No particular reason, just to go somewhere. And then Sunday? In the morning, we went goose hunting. They then headed home, but I dropped the boys off to see some relatives, and I stayed in Hammond. Bag any geese on that trip? I believe the boys got a couple. The boys said they didn't get any. Yes, well, come to, come to think of it, they're right. We got out to where the geese were, and there were thousands of them. But you couldn't approach them. They were a wise bunch of birds. Your young friends also told us there's no weapons in the car. Dave, isn't it a little difficult to hunt geese without a shotgun? Yes, now I remember Mr. Garrison. I'm sorry, I got confused. We got out there near the geese, and it was only then we realized we'd forgotten our shotguns. Stupid, right? So, so, of course, we didn't get any geese. Dave, thank you for your time. I'm sorry it's going to have to end inconveniently for you. Inconveniently? I'm going to have you detained for further questioning by the FBI. Why? What's wrong? Dave, I simply find your story not believable.